What's going on guys? Double RPG is here for you all. And I felt like doing another two cents video as this recent news as of Monday was something that I couldn't pass up. This is another piece of news that has come up with a big figure in the gaming industry spewing doom and gloom like everyone else. First of all, I want to give a mention as to who Jason Rubin is and where he struck big in the video game industry. Jason Rubin is one of the co-founders of the Sony-owned first-party studio known as Naughty Dog Software. This is the guy who was responsible for the creation of Crash Bandicoot and the Jack and Daxter franchise for the PlayStation consoles. His games have been some of the most critically acclaimed products that he and his co-founder Andy Gavin managed to conceive. His reputation as a game developer has been extremely significant, such as the likes of Tim Schafer, Doug Tenaple, and many who have a creative passion to create quality content. As of recent, Jason Rubin was the president of THQ briefly before the company filed for bankruptcy in which they are now defunct from video game development. That is who Jason Rubin is, so you figured that his opinions would have great matters. But it seems that he has sparked huge controversy from not only gamers in general, but to Nintendo fans out there. In a recent episode of Game Trailer's own show called Bonus Round hosted by the notorious and infamous Jeff Keighley, Jason Rubin made a rather harsh statement on how he sees Nintendo within the industry as of right now. This is his quote on what he said when he talks about the future of Sony, Microsoft, and the Big N. Sony and Microsoft will do, for the next few years, extremely well. Again, because Nintendo has stumbled, Rubin said. Nintendo is irrelevant as a hardware manufacturer in the console business right now. Now after some crosstalk, this is what he had to say about Nintendo then. Nintendo is selling more Wiis than we use, and again, before the hate mail comes in, I will say to whichever camera is on right now, a worldwide treasure Nintendo is. There is no developer that will ever be Nintendo visionary Shigeru Miyamoto. It is a crime that we do not play those games on the systems that we have. I really don't know what to think about his quotes on this subject, as it's hard to bear the fact that Jason Rubin speaks more from the mind of a sensationalist than a diverse analyst. Now before I go on with this rant, I do have to say that one thing that I can't agree where Nintendo stumbled, it's marketing. Nintendo had a whole year to work really hard in promoting some of those third-party titles that hit the Wii U like LEGO City Undercover, in which they published, Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, the Wonderful 101, and some of those others that arrived at launch. But they didn't do jack squat in promoting their material. Throughout this whole year, we have seen the Big N market their products on television, but only to programming blocks that are more kid-oriented like Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, Disney XD, and some others. They hardly made an attempt to promote any of their material to bigger ones like ABC, NBC, Comedy Central, Fox, Spike, or anything else as that image to where they are now or where they stick themselves hasn't really been that diversified as what many people want it to be. If Nintendo put in some more time and effort to market themselves on many programming blocks, we probably would see this huge spike in Wii U sales as much as they did when the Wii released. They would launch their marketing campaigns for the Wii on many programming blocks, just to continue to print money based on the continuing sales the console and their games kept delivering throughout the console's lifetime. However, they really didn't do any of that, as they were wasting time with trying to save their money on other material, albeit it being for the better, instead of trying to get the message across people's minds who still believe that the Wii U is just an add-on for the Wii and not a next-generation console. Gosh, jeez, I still can't believe that there are many people who still think of that to this day. But then again, marketing costs so much money, so it isn't as easy as it was for Nintendo back then when they were high in their prime. That is where I think Jason Rubin criticizes Nintendo for that aspect. However, many of the other points that he made is where I am in full disagreement. Nintendo is irrelevant as a hardware manufacturer in the console business right now? Pull freaking crap they are! If they are irrelevant, then why are their games made of the highest quality? Why is it that games like New Super Mario Bros., Monster Hunter, and Zelda manage to sell extremely well on both their handhelds and consoles? It's because they are of higher quality and hardly buggy like what Sony, Microsoft, and almost every single third-party developer goes for as they do not want to spend so much time with developing their games around the hardware for Nintendo's products as I feel that most of them are still in the shtick where they tend to act like Sega back in the 90s. Let's look at it this way. How is it that Nintendo is still succeeding in today's culture when it comes to video games? It's because their games 
from both retail and their digital service, the eShop, continues to hit strong even after a game has released. In due time, I am very confident that Super Mario 3D World, New Super Mario Bros. U, New Super Luigi U, Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, Bayonetta 2, The Wonderful 101, Mario Kart 8, X, Yarn Yoshi, and the new Zelda Wii U title will continue to sell copies long after they are released. This is why Nintendo doesn't worry about the used games market, as their games are top-notch and full of content. That's why many people keep buying them all the time. I do agree with you that they are a treasure when it comes to video game development, as their games are top quality than any of their competition. But you had to end it by saying that it's a crime for being unable to play their games on the systems of their competitors, to which they said that they will never become a third party to begin with. Pardon me for saying this, but stop being so hypocritical and selfish with your belief, because that is never going to happen. Speaking of which, when was the last time you ever made a video game? When was it, Jason Rubin? Oh, that's right. That was back in 2004 when you finally released Jack 3 for the PlayStation 2 while only having special mentions for Jack X Combat Racing, Daxter, and Uncharted Drake's Fortune. That's it. Why haven't we seen any newer games be made by you? Oh, that's right. You were absent for eight years doing something else and then came back to be THQ's president in which you failed to save the company from going downhill. Yeah, very classy smack talk on Nintendo, Ruben. Also... I never knew this about you until recently, but I learned that you never made a single game for a Nintendo console or handheld as you created a couple games for the Sega Genesis in which they were poorly received by critics. I'm sorry, Jason Rubin, but I really don't think that your opinion is justified when you say that Nintendo is irrelevant as a console manufacturer because they make really great quality software specifically for their hardware. Now, just because they have a hard time with gaining a massive spike in console sales after delivering great quality content is beyond me but that is another can of worms that I'll have to deliver at another time. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is this, Jason Rubin. You think it's a crime for not playing any of Nintendo's games on their competitors' consoles? If you really think that's a crime, then go work for Nintendo or work as an indie developer for the company's eShop services. If you have seen how indie developers and companies like Platinum Games and Monolith Soft are enjoying the console by using the Wii U to its fullest, then why don't you develop a game on that console with that same top quality, and then maybe you can see why top quality is where Nintendo is at its strongest suit. Sorry, but if there's something that is irrelevant, then it's you, Jason Rubin. End of story. Anyway, guys, I want to know of your two cents towards this subject. Do you agree with Jason Rubin's comments about Nintendo, or do you think his argument makes him hypocritical? Make sure to leave your positive and negative feedback down in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to my channel and Double RPG Gamer for Solo. This is Double RPG signing off, saying Godspeed and game on, gamers. Have a good one.